Well, hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide, and this time we are getting it all in Genesis Noir. Now this was developed by Feral Cat Den, published by Fellow Traveller, and is usually available for £12.49, but it's free right now on Game Pass. Now this guide also includes the new DLC, Astronomer's Cut, that recently got released, so expect, to give, uh, expect this guide to give you 1,200 gamer score instead of 1,000. If you need any specific timestamps for uh, the DLC or any level, please refer to the timestamps in the comment section below. So, in all fairness, you'd be forgiven for thinking what in the third teddy bag is going on in this game. Well, let me tell you real quick. We play as No Man, or Tiny Nugget Head, as I will refer to him, who basically falls in love with Miss Mass, or Miss Hugh Jazz, we will refer to her. Uh, then this affair gets messy, a jealous god called the Big Bang gets all angry and gangster on us, and shoots Miss Hugh Jazz. And we basically have to investigate ways to stop it, or that is to my understanding. Um, anyway, achievements wise, they're all story related. So you'll basically get one achievement for completing each chapter you finish. So that'll be 17, including the DLC. But as easy as it is, it is still quite confusing, which is why there is this guide. Now, hopefully, I've paced the video well enough so you can keep up, because this will take us around three hours in total, maybe a bit longer to complete this. So, with that being said, then. Well, let's get this thing on the road, shall we? And obviously we're going to be pressing start new game to start a new game, because if you didn't start a new game, you wouldn't be able to play the game, start a new game, and you'll get no achievements. So that's basically it. Um, now there's always going to be this um, bit of dialogue. We can just, again, as usual, spam the A button to just get through it. Now a lot of the time we will be obviously moving with the left stick, including scenes where you can click go up on the left stick and uh, interacting with things is going to be the A and the B button um, primarily but there are a lot of times where you think it's a and again there's a lot of cutscenes in this game and there's going to be a lot of times where you think it's a cutscene but you actually have to you know do a 90 degree turn on the back side of your head and press the A button at the same time just to get going it's uh, <laughs> it's a <laughs> it is a weird one I'm not going to if you haven't played it yet it is a weird one of course this game has been out uh, for a about nine or ten months now. I think it came out in June or July, I think, in 2021. So, welcome to this prologue. You don't get an achievement for completing the prologue, but you do realise what the hell's going on. And the first thing we're doing, when we can get the cursor up and we can start, we've got Dodgy Nugget Head. Again, this is our main man, of course, old Tiny Nugget Head, and, and you can see why. It's like the opposite Mr. Mackey from South Park. So, dude's hungry, so we've got to... <laughs> Let's do some dodgy stuff and sell some dodgy watches. And what we need to do, when we got the cursor, click on any of these shadow people here. And then just click, press and hold the A button to pick up any watch. Drag it to the shadow person. By the way, everyone in this game has incredible hips. Jesus Christ, they got the perfect hourglass figure. Uh, but we need to do this three times then. So pick on three shadow people. Uh, pick any watch that you want. There we go, and just give it away, and that's another dollar, so then we, now we can buy, I don't know, probably buy a bowl of chips or something, but that'll keep us going. Click any of the third one, and again, any of the watches, press and hold the A button, drag that over, and he's basically gonna, he gives us his crap stained underwear, there's literal flies coming out of that and everything. Disgusting. Right, <laughs> move with the left stick, and basically all you're going to keep doing is moving all the way to the right until you reach a clock tower, and you end up falling flat on your tiny nugget-headed face, <laughs> like about now. Um, <laughs> man, who who's leaving this one random shoe out? Yeah, he sends a bit. Anyway, so this is the point we get to. There we go, and again, some of these cutscenes are very well, hell, hello, is that my Miss Huge Ass in the, uh, I mean, sorry, Hugh Jass? So basically, uh, Nugget Head takes a look, I mean, it's incredibly pervish, and he decides to, um, well, is this the point he decides to go in? No, okay, okay, we're running through the alley, which again is probably less creepyish than staring at a woman's butt through the window, which I give him that. But we're going to head up into the clock tower anyway. Again, like I said, there are a lot of cutscenes in this game. And you'll normally be able to tell with the sort of black bars at the top and the bottom there. And obviously you'll be able to tell when we're good to go, when we can uh, move stuff. Yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. 
But this is the first proper thing that we're going to be doing in the game. So what we're going to do is interact with the trash bin and the phone at the top right there. So make sure that these two are on the floor. Then interact with the phone again. And Nugget Head is going to go over and be like, Oh, hello, there is something on the floor. And what it is, is a number that we have to dial. It should be the exact same one for you each time. So the number, if you click on the piece of paper though on the floor... The number is 9806650. So, and you have to do it like the old style. Now, again, for any people who are new, this is what the old people had to do. This is what the boomers had to do. So, it's, <laughs> remember, it's 980. Again, you can keep looking if you forget. But you've got to click on the number and drag it all the way around. And that is why old people's fingers are just full of calluses and they're just hardcore as hell. Because phoning people... Man, it was a lot. It was a lot harder than just pressing a couple of buttons. So remember, it's at nine eight zero six six five zero nine eight zero six six five zero, and then when that's done, uh, it's going to trigger another scene change. Now, all of that just seemed to be a, a bit much just to get to this front door, but here we are. So when we are there, at this front door, um, grab the handle and move the left stick up and down, up and down, up and down. Wiggle that shit. Wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle it. And we are back uh, into another cutscene. And this is basically what is going to be the um, hub world, as we'll see in a minute. But we've got the title screen now. Genesis Neuer. If you wanted to uh, sound it, make it sound quite posh, Genesis Neuer. Well, that probably sounds like I'm just having half a stroke rather than uh, trying to sound posh, but there we go. So, uh, right, what we're going to do then is eventually we're going to come to it. The cursor is going to be around, and then we can start up the game. Now, what we have to do is actually grab the drink flask, the beautiful whiskey flask right in front of us, as soon as we're able to. As soon as we're able to. So, there we go then. So, again, press the A button there on the flask. Uh, press the B button here to back out, and then what's going to happen, every time you take a drink in this game, there's going to be like a tiny little mini game. It's like bubbles and stuff like that. All we have to do is basically just pop the bubbles. That's literally it. And I mean, this is how easy the game is, but it gets too confusing. So, go around all the bubbles, smashing the A button on every single one. Um, I wonder if that just means that we've just lost... I don't know, are we more... Uh, I don't know. But anyway, as you can see, on the bed is Miss Huge Ass. And then the guy follow it, uh, firing the gun is um, our enemy, supposedly. But anyway, click on the right-hand side wall. And what we're going to see is this little vanity table. This is where we're going to put all our evidence down. So basically, the uh, bad Elvis Presley dude is called Golden Man. But we're going to call them Golden Balls for short. Or for a little bit longer. Uh, once all the evidence is up, click on the mirror. And then what we're going to do is click on the uh, icon in the back on the wall right there. And that's basically the gun. Now you can just turn that around. So interact with it, grab it, turn it around until we see the spiral. And this is going to basically become the major player, the major hitter in the whole game. Because for some reason you decided to grab a hot boiling bullet and then spiral yourself to death. Except you're still alive, so it's not too death, but... Uh, who grabs a boiling hot bullet like that? <laughs> not very good at detective in, are we? Considering we're not a detective, we're just a watch scammer type dude. 
Right, so we've got that. And now we are basically, this is basically the end of the prologue now. So now we are into the first chapter. And what we have, this one is called Seeding. And no, it's not a thing where you have to plant your seeds and make tons of babies. It's nothing like that at all. Although that would have been certainly interesting. No, this is actually about picking up seeds and then moving forward by picking up other seeds. So it's pretty easy. But, right, when we begin then, what we're going to do is just walk up. Basically, the white things around us are more or less like the tents, if you want. Uh, the bubbles, they basically show you the path of the way. So what we do is go ahead all the way around, kind of like in a spiral. Press the A button on this dude. He's going to disappear. And what he's going to leave, he's going to leave his seeds behind. So you don't want any woman being seeded by this guy. So we're going to take it for ourselves. The guy's going to stick a seed in us, so pick them up. Ah, we've got a nice couple of white seeds. Now, what you do, click on uh, Nugget's head there, and then he's going to open his hand. Click and drag one of the white seeds onto the white gate fence, and it's basically going to open the way for us. So that's what we are going to be doing for the entirety of this mission. So again, uh, press the A button, and then drag another white seed, and stick that on the fence in order for us to get through. So, just keep going, ignoring everything, go to the right, interact with um, what, what basically is golden man, so golden balls. Pick up the black seeds now, and as you can see, you've got the black wavy things on the left. So, grab a seed, hold and drag it, bring it to the right, and that will lighten us the way for us. Okay, <laughs> alright then, so let's keep going. Uh, what we need to do now is open up our seeds again, grab the black seed and put it in this hole, and that is basically to open up the way for us. It's it's dire, but it all works. Now, this little mini game puzzle, what you have to do, you have to just press the hold, press and hold the A button on the middle of the flower to get them all lit up, and then it's a game of she loves me, she loves me not. So pick all the petals off one by one, and then if you're like me, she probably doesn't love you, bro. Um, uh, uh, for me, I'm personally pretty unloved, but that's okay. Played this game many a times, and it always came true. Nobody loved me. <laughs> <laughs> That's for another story. Anyway, so once you've picked all those up, uh, that is now <laughs> going to light up the way. And right, what we need to do is actually click and drag it right. We have to click and drag this to the right in order to fill the screen. So again, this is uh, what I mean. This sometimes looks like a cutscene, but it's not. So just hold the A button, drag it to the right. And that's going to fill the screen. Sometimes we're going to need to um, turn clockwise a whole bunch of times. Other times we need to just go up, down, up your mum and all around. But this time, go to the right. And now we can head right onto the new path in order to reach another hole. There's a lot of hole bashing this time. Which is nothing wrong with that. So here's the hole. So click on Nugget Head again or click on the seeds. Drag one of your black seeds out and stick that square in the hole. Straight in the water. Job done. Right, now what we have to do is basically fill the lake. So again, a very another easy minigame puzzle uh, coming up. Oh, <laughs> oh well. That looked more like an 80-year-old man's uh, seed right there. Just puffy nothing. So just click on all of the clouds. Basically, that's just going to get rainy. It's just going to fill up the lake. So click on every single one that you possibly can. And there we go. So that one's done. Now we can take the new path down to another hole and we're going to be able to plant another seed so right here we're going to go down 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 bam, 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 bam. grab us black seed stick that square in the biggest hole you'll ever see and now what we need to do this is kind of like another frequency thing so there are audio and visual clues for when you're on the right track but basically um go four to the right first and then hold it uh, to six left. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Till about six. There it is. So you can always tell. And then it's um, five to the right. So hold it and go one. Yeah, to the right. One, two, three, four, and five. 
And like I said, you can always tell a lot of these puzzles have the sort of audio and visual clues. So basically when you're on the right track. So it sort of stops dead or it starts uh, going a bit nuts. And there we go. Right, now we're going to take the right path this time. And we're going to take his seeds. No more putting seeds in anyone, you son of a... No. You are only meant to be seedless. So grab him, make sure to pick up the seeds again. And there we go. Now what we can do is follow the old bubbles. Now we can just press press the B button to back out. We don't need the seeds. What we're doing is going back and taking the left path this time. So there we go. And then what we need to do is pop in another seed. So any one this time. I just choose a black one just because I can. And then all we have to do for this bit then is literally just go count counterclockwise on the left stick. Now if you go slow, it also goes slow. But if you go really fast, then it goes really fast as well. So the quicker you do the clockwise, the uh, better or the easier it is. Um, sorry, I thought I was at another part of the game there. So as you can see, just going really slow will make it appear really slow. But if you want to get this done quicker, go fast, fast, faster than Sonic Faster than Sonic finishing with a, uh, you know, a, a level on Sonic games. Heh. <laughs> then when that is done, we're going to take the newly formed left path. And... Uh, the third path, so we can now pick up uh, golden balls and pick up his seeds again. Now what we need to do is grab... Uh, we need to go to the right again, sorry. So we're going back to the right. And now we're going to the right path where all the bubbles are at. And as you can see, there is uh, golden balls right there. So again, pop him. Pop his seed. <laughs> and then pick up his own seed. Right. Now what we're going to do from here... Uh, we can just press B button to back out. We're going to go back into the central area. And this time we're going to go down. And there she blows. So now there is a big white path. So again, uh, click on Nugget Head. Get out the seeds and drag it to the white gate to open up the white gate. And now we can interact with old golden balls right here. There he goes. And again, make sure to pick up his seeds. So we're not too far from the end of the first chapter. These chapters are short, but they can feel like a hell of a long time. A hell of a long time. So follow the bubbles up and then uh, interact with old golden nuts right here. And once again, pick up the rest of his blackened seeds. And there she blows. Okay, right. Go back down. And now we are going to get another white seed out. So click on Nugget Head, put it on the white strip of gate or whatever you want to call that. That's going to open up the way, and it's also, we, uh, if we go to the left and up, we can now pop in another white seed. Pop that inside the hole. Okay, get in the hole then. And now all we have to do for this bit, very easy, you just have to keep clicking on the branches. Now, uh, there's going to be birds that appear, so you're just going to keep clicking on the branches to cut them off until three birds appear. So as soon as three birds appear, um, don't... Cut off anymore, just interact with all three birds to finish this tiny little minigame puzzle. There she blows, Captain. So, three birds, click on one, click on two, click on three. And that is going to be the end of this mini game puzzle. Lovely. Right, so now we've got a newly opened branch to the left. We're going to the left, of course. Follow the bubbles to the next hole, which is just going to be basically to the top right here. And we are going to put in another black seed. It doesn't matter which seeds I don't think you do this time. It's all good. Right, so what we need to do then for this particular plant to grow... We have, all we have to do is remove all the debris which is on the ground, which is blocking the roots. So all we have to do, uh, basically just focus on the glowing root. That's all you have to do. And how you get rid of the debris is you've got to grab, again with the A button, always the A button. You've got to grab and drag up the white outlined rocks to remove them. 
So as you can see, you can see the golden glowing roots So this one. Just grab and um, drag up. That pops up that bit of debris. Lovely. Pops in the air fantastically. Um, there are a lot more roots, but you don't actually have to follow the one. So as you can see, the one on the right there has gone black and charred. So you don't have to follow that one. Uh, but for some reason, I end up, I think it's more of an OCD thing, sort of. Uh, but big, massive rocks like that, as you can see, you can just break very, very easily. And that'll be job done. Um, but yeah, I j just end up getting rid of all the debris, just because, I don't know, it was a lot more satisfying. But all you got to do is focus on the one glowing route until you get to the bottom. And then you can um, interact with the water to finish this bit. Right, so now, as you can see, the one route has gotten to the water. That is the only route that we need. So now you can just uh, click on the water to finish it. But again, uh, for some reason, it was me just being very... Um, I don't know why, but this was really satisfying for me just to get rid of uh, all, most and all of the debris. But like I said, as soon as the one route touches the water, you can literally just touch the water and that finishes up this mini game puzzle, game puzzle. Nah, she blows. So we got <laughs> we got there eventually. I told you I'd never steer you wrong. The apologies ever do though. Right, so um let's see now. We've got the hole in the water. We've got the water which we need in order for the plant to grow. Now I'll tell you what, a lot of people growing their own marijuana in the, in their own house is looking at this game going, Oh really, is that all it takes? Right. But don't do it. Don't 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 be dead gay. Now, big steroid deer appears. And what we need to do now is head up the new path, again, following the bubbles, two golden balls. And we need to pop him, we need to pop his seed, pop his cherry as it were, and we need to grab the new golden seeds. So he does have golden balls, so we were correct in saying that. Right, now we need to go down and around to the hole in the left. So there it is, or oh, the right, sorry, close enough. And then plant a seed, and this time, again, plant a gold seed, and this time it's going to be just the cutscene. So, once again, just enjoy whatever in the nutsack is going on. Right then, when Nuggethead finally wakes up, you lazy douchebag, although I <laughs> I am with him 100% on that. We're going to go to the right, we're going to follow the bubbles, we're going to go all the way to the right. And you see the golden gate? Well, luckily we've got one of those golden seeds for us to use on it. Job done. Right. Go up, we're going to pop go we're going to pop golden's balls again. We're going to pick up his seeds when we do this. And then we're just going to continue up the path, and we're going to go to the left. So we've got all the seeds, or we don't need any more golden bollock seeds. Nope, we're all good. We're going to continue up the path, and go to the left. And now we are almost done with the chapter. I know I said it about seven minutes ago, but this time we are. So when we are near the tree, we need to click on the fruit, which is directly above golden ball. So any one of these, click a couple. One of them is going to knock him, and he's going to turn into this angry really bad Elvis Presley impersonator who for some reason decides to take one of our watch that's my watch you son of a bitch give it back oh that money broke it <laughs> well that's annoying what are you what, what are you meant to be what are you meant to be like Elvis Presley if we ordered him from Wish and he was still alive yeah So when this cutscene ends, what we can do, we can click on the spiral, but we're going to click on it three times. So click on the spiral unos, tunos, and thrunos. See how my Spanish is coming along fantastically? <laughs> no, I know. Man of many talents. So we need to click on the spiral again. And what that's going to do now, it's going to end the chapter and it's going to take us back to the crime scene slash the main hub. But what that's also going to do is get us our first achievement called seeding. So click on the spiral when your hand appears. That's the end of the first chapter. Look at that. What, what, what are we? 25 minutes in. <laughs> Hell. Oh, it's going to be a long one.
So every time we finish a chapter, what's going to happen is we're going to automatically go back to the sort of um, investigation board, if you want, or the crime scene board, or the bill board, or the crime bill board, or the dildo board, the, the dill, uh, sorry, the bill, whatever it is, we come back here, we do a couple of drawings, we plant some investigation stuffs, so we put a spiral on, and then after we can do this, we can go to the left to back out, and then just interact with the gun again. So, once we're done, just put your cursor all the way to the left, as you can see there, press the A button to go on it, and then just interact with the, basically, the gunfires. Now, to get to the next chapter, what you have to do is go from right to left, and just interact with all the small dots. So, interact with this top one here, it's going to give us a little picture. And then uh, do the one at the bottom, so it's always the rightmost one going to the left. So, I interact with this one an expanse of empty space, and then I interact with the very top one. And that's going to be yet another picture. And then this one should be, as soon as you see a diamond like now, this is the next chapter. So the next one is called Star Trek, uh, Star Struck even. <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? And as usual, we get the same bit of dialogue, so we're just going to smash the A uh, through it with the A button. And this one is a very short chapter, which is what we always want. So, as the cutscene ends, we can now start going to the right, and we're basically, all we're doing is just following the bubbles until we reach a lit match. So, enjoy the clouds and stuff. Very impressive. Yeah, very, uh, very well thought out this was. But just keep heading to the right for now anyway. Darshi blows, that's a big old match boy. Right, what we're gonna do, interact with all the clouds and then pick up the matchbox there. Press the B button there to back out and that is just fantastic. So we pick up the burnt flyer, which is this one, the Miss Mass or Miss Hugh Jass as it were. So that's the one that we actually need to keep it going. So we've got the matchbox, we've also got the Miss Mass. And uh, what we can do now after this cutscene and some cutscenes do take a couple of minutes, some do not. But we basically end up at the Starstruck Bar, which sounds more like um, as we interact with the gate on the right-hand side to go in. That the Starstruck Bar actually just sounds more like a place to stalk celebrities and get re who get really creeped out by you. So once we interact with that, we now come to the side of the door. We're going to select the door to enter the club. You found me in the club. Bottle full of beer. Me, me, give me, me. So, again, click on the door to enter the club out. And then what we're going to do, we are going to, as soon as we get to this section, we're going to select the spotlight, which is in the top left-hand corner, to turn that on. And then we're going to click and hold um, the left stick up to move closer to the stage. So, basically, walk forward. And we're just going to move closer to the stage where we are going to see our love interest. Now, if you're playing it along for the first time with no guide or anything like that, you're probably thinking, I don't know what's going on, but... You know, for some reason, there's always one hot mama with a big, fat, chunky hairdo, which every guy just loves. So, pick up the bottle on the right, give that a drink, and then just like, remember what we have to do with the whiskey flask? Just pop all the bubbles. So, this is every time we drink, this little pop-the-bubble minigame appears, um, and then he drinks again. So, again, um, pop all the bubbles. And then for the third time... We are going to pop all the music notes this time. So, again, Miss Huge, uh, Hugh Jass, your hips are fantastic, and your hair is unreal. God damn, Goyle. So, Nugget Head. So this is kind of like uh, South Park style Mr. Mackey and Miss Chokes on Dick. Now, if you know South Park, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about, but the opposite. So, when we get to this point, what we're going to do, we're going to follow the bubbles again. And we're basically just going to walk all the way up to the planet. So, you don't have to concretely follow the bubbles, but just walk all the way up to the planet. Uh, now, this this bit, like a lot of bits in this game, can be kind of finicky. Just keep walking forward, and you should just walk into it. But for some reason, uh, Nuggethead may start walking back on himself for some reason. 
because he gets a bit nuts. But there we go. So we finally get into the planet. And now what we need to do, we have to... Um, we're going to meet Golden Balls. There he is. The old Wish. The old Elvis Presley, if you ordered him from Wish. We just need to interact with him to get his attention. And... Hey, screw you, buddy. And then what we need to do then is just interact with the uh, smoke clouds now. So every time you interact with the smoke clouds, he's basically going to put a bunch of smoke in our head, which is... I mean, hey, buddy, that's that's prejudice now. It's prejudice against my people. The uh, non-smoky head people. But just keep interacting with the smoke clouds for now. And then eventually, when we get there, we can click on the flame and we're going to put the cigar out. And this is basically the end of it now, so click on it. He pops it out again. Golden Balls is fuming. Really fuming. So much so, he actually stubs his cigar out on us, which is... Oh, man, come on. I just I just tried getting on a big head, big hipped, big head chick. Now I smell like cigar ash. Right, anyway, when he puts that out, what we're going to do... Uh, Nugget Head's going to get out. And now we can actually pick up the cigar. Where he's putting it, well... Oh, it looks it looked painful to be honest. A little man like that with a big cigar sticking that in places you shouldn't. A bit painful. So he's gonna raise his hand. Let's click on the spiral then, and this is gonna complete the chapter, giving us the starstruck achievement. So again, what's gonna happen? We're gonna go back to the dressing table. He's gonna add the cigar and another spiral, and then we can just go back to the left, select the gunfire, and we're gonna get the third chapter on the go. So let's interact with the gunfire again then, and remember, you can go to the left, but we're just going, we're picking the dots from right to left. So again, just pick all of the same ones, and then what we're going to do is get the third chapter on the go, which is called Reflection. Now the DLC ones come up as a slightly different colour. Um, so they normally uh, just appear as dots on the bottom of the gunfire, so if you click on that, um, you know that you were in one of the DLCs. I'll obviously be letting you know, and again, timestamps, etc. down below anyway, so... So good, buddy. So good, me. Right, so again, we're going to press the... Uh, smash the A button to skip through all the dialogue. And then all we're going to do, for the beginning bit, we're just going to follow the bubbles all the way to our right until we reach a giant tie, and then select that giant tie to get a cutscene. So just, for now, go all the way to the right until you can interact with and select the giant tie. And there she blows, laddie! Giant tie! Oh yeah! Right, what we need to do, um, we're going to select this, we're going to get a cutscene, and now what we're going to do is pick up the bottle on the floor, which is directly by uh, below you, and we're going to, once again, pop all the bubbles that appear. So, poppity pop, pop, pop. As soon as we do this a total of three times, we're just going to go back to the tie again. See, it's all fun. All confusing and monotonous fun. Hooray! Is that all Nugget Head wants to do in this game, is drink and try and hit on every woman he can? Hey, you dirty pig! Dirty boy, dirty. Right, anyway, we're back to the giant tie. What we're going to do now is head to the right to find golden balls once more. So keep heading to the right, follow the bubbly bub bubs, which is probably uh, probably a cause for your alcoholism. Uh, but there we go, golden balls looking a bit depressed. 
Probably because he's not actually Elvis Presley and nobody takes him seriously because you can order him from Wish. So anyway, what we have to do, we have to select a couple of these rocks. And we need to get, uh, we need to throw him at him basically until, to, to get his attention and until he drops his flowers. So that'll be the first one. Then just interact with the two big rocks on the right there. And he will eventually drop his flower. So when Golden Ball starts playing his saxophone, saxophone, what we have to do then is uh, click on Nugget Head to clap for Golden Balls um, to basically uh, keep him playing and playing. So every time he stops playing his saxophone, just keep applauding. We have to do this six times until he leaves. So just keep clicking on Nugget Head to applaud. Golden Balls will leave and then we're going to head to the right. See, I know why he's sad and why he's no more, because he kept playing the saxophone song from Homer Simpson. That's why you can't play it correctly, you just say saxophone into it. So from here we're going to head to the right, we're going into the ocean to continue. And, I mean, Nuggethead, man, you, you keep running, but you keep holding onto your hat. Why don't you just lose the hat? And then you wouldn't have to run with one-handed, like, <laughs> like a creepier slender man somehow. So keep going into the ocean, don't worry about drowning, we basically will not. Look at that, just enough there, our Slenderman legs saved the day. Now we have to do a few connect the dot puzzles, all very easy, they're not, they look like they're going to be complicated, but they're incredibly, incredibly not. So what you have to do is start with the white, which is closest to any gold dot. So that's what you have to do for every one of these, if you, if you see a gold dot and a white dot, it's always the white dot that is closest to any gold dot. So obviously this one's going to be easy. The first line is already done for us. So what we need to do is just interact with the uh, one on the left, put it up to the top left, and then the one on the top right, just drag that down. Very, very easy. Um, and it, it does, and it looks like it can get very complicated. There's basically, there's, I don't think there's no more than like five or six connections. So yeah, it's not too bad. If you need to rotate it, you can rotate it with the arrow on the screen. So for, again, make sure you grab the white dot that is closest to the gold dot and pop that one there. And then grab the bottom middle one and put that in between where the three bows are at. And that is what finishes the puzzle. So, see, I told you it's very, very easy. It's not bad. Right. Again, make sure with all the white dots you're putting them closest to the gold dots. So the first one we can do is at the top right hand corner. So put the white to the dot. Um, White to the gold dot, and one of the bottom left hand corner, put that white to the gold. And then what we can do, we're actually going to turn, rotate the screen, um, I'm going to do it the other way, and it's actually the bottom right dot, which is closest to the gold dot. And then right at the very top, you can see another white dot, top left hand corner there, so connect that one up. And then you can just connect the um, sort of middle left one to the balls, and that'll connect that boy up. One differently. <clears throat> right, these two seem to look extremely complicated, but again, they are absolutely not. So, in the middle there, just connect the two white dots to the gold dots. 
So you, again, you may have to rotate the screen. No problem if you have to do that. That's fine. Just fine. That's fine. So grab that one. And then just grab the dot, which is on the left-hand side. And just uh, take it to the two balls there. And then if we rotate the screen some more. Then we just need to interact with this white dot. Put it to the two black dots. Oops. Oops. Oops, damn it! Okay, there we go. And that completes that one. Now we've only just got one more left to do. And again, this looks out of this world insane. But it's as about as insane as my Nan's membrane. Which is not that really uh, insane. So, two white, two, two gold there at the bottom. Job done. Smash those two out. And then, basically, I think you can just choose any one of the white dots. So I just choose the one closest to the left gold dot. Put that up. And that is how you complete that puzzle. So, it's going to trigger yet another cutscene. Do I grow my head, Gray? No. Alright, so we've got another little tiny mini game coming up. This isn't bad. We've just got to click and drag the cursor. So, again, press the A button. And then drag the cursor all over the... What kind of look like horseshoes, in a way? Horseshoes with bowels on them. Um, and they're basically going to form this shape. And then what you need to do is click on the shape there when it turns gold. So as soon as it turns gold, click on the shape and we're automatically going to go to the next one. And again, it doesn't matter what order you do this in. Just click and drag over absolutely everything. As soon as it turns gold, then you click on it. And you have to do this one more time after this particular one. So with this one we need to click and drag this uh, shape to the right hand side as you can see until it starts going a bit nutbags. And now what's going to happen is uh, we need to basically get like organisms or what look kind of like, like fish creatures to basically bang each other. So just interact with this final one. There we go, a boosh. So what's going to happen now is there's going to be a sort of puzzle where we have to pick the uh, specific items in order to get this, I don't know, organism fish type thing to be made. And then he starts banging another organism fish and that brings up more organism fishes. That is, once again, to my understanding, supposedly. But the first thing we're going to do with these two fish, microbionic creatures, whatever, interact with the gold in between them. And they're basically going to be in love and be like, hey, we're basically Adam and Eve. Should we make some more babies? Or do you think Jeebus will just make a whole bunch of them and it's basically like banging your own siblings, which is weird. So now go from left to right, pick the cylinder, the ring and the ball, and that will create our first uh, creature. And then when this kind of star-like creature, whatever, this, hey, <laughs> this is basically a whole section about organisms banging. So if you don't like it, well, yeah, it's tough. You have to get through it. So interact with the middle of them there, the gold, uh, uh, the gold disc. And that's going to create us a new shape for us to build with. Now, you have to do this next one in a specific order. That is basically semen. Uh, right, but now we need to click on the cylinder. So the tube type thing. The star on the left. And now the ball on the right. That's going to create a new creature. So kind of like the semen stained creature right there. Now we are going to select the creature, gold creature on the left. And you tell me what this look. What what does that look like? I'm in love. Someone's hot there. And my little round sausage thing is pumping like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> it could just be a sausage. But you tell me what that looks like. Kind of looks like a red racket. <laughs> red racket. Uh, but again, I'll leave that up to you to decide whatever you think the hell. Whatever the, whatever the hell you think that one is. Right, now we can use a new one. We're going to pick the cylinder, the glow stick on the left, and now the star. So basically we're making the dong type thing. Uh, we need to now select the gold creature there, which 
Again, what does this look like? Hey, come over here. I'm in love with you. Yeah, it kind of looks like he's about to tongue him. Which is... It's never a bad thing, is it? It's never a bad thing. Um, but anyway, so again, click on the gold disc in the middle of the creatures there. They are basically going to go in and they're going in for a good night of passion. Which... I mean, 30 seconds is still passion, isn't it? So it makes no difference. Right. Tap on the saxophone. Basically, we need to click on the saxophone in the middle. And we need to click on it a couple of times. I think about four or five times. There we go. Until the saxophone is ours. So, um, yeah. Basically ends the chapter. Somehow, uh, Nugget's head managed to get his fat arm all the way over there to pick up the saxophone without alerting any of the incredibly horny organisms around us. <laughs> Luckily, none of them tried to mate on us, so we're all good. So after this little bit of cutscene, um, this basically ends the chapter. So soon as Nugget Hand's hand appears, complete. click on the spiral, complete the chapter, and that is Reflection Completo. Okay, so what we're going to do now is come up to the first level of the DLC um, of the Astronomer's Cut. Um, now, originally, if you played the game originally, this circle, dot right here, wouldn't be there. So, this is the one that we need, so make sure you've clicked on the bottom of all of the dots there um, in order to get up to this first level DLC. Again, these there's three levels, basically three achievements for three levels, completing three levels. And they're all as easy as, well, basically as pee in your pants if you really wanted to. Um, so for this first specific one, if we just um, keep spamming the A button here, all we are having to do is just basically follow bubbles until we find golden balls. And we have to do that just a couple of number of times. The second level of the uh, DLC is the longest. But again, it's easy. You're just literally connecting, again, connecting dot to dot. That's all we're doing. So, um, sorry, just double checking right there. Just double checking. So, again, obviously, you should already be on three out of 17 achievements by now. And this will be four when we get past this way. So, again, this is the first area of the DLC then. So, you can uh, interact with the cufflinks if you want, but you don't need to do that. All you need to do is just click and hold and then drag the screen. So, just follow the bubbles. Sometimes it can be slightly confusing, but we're just keeping going up. Uh, basically, we get told sort of which way to go. So as you can see there, Golden Balls is telling us to go up. And then down and around. Down, down. Keep following the bubbles. To the left, slightly. Nice hand, bro. And then to the right. And there is Golden Ball. So again, that's all we have to do for this DLC. As soon as you see him, click on him. And uh, I think we have to do this another two times in order to finish this one, and that'll be that. It is a nice easy one, mate.
hello, giant golden balls. Um, right, thank you. That's much appreciated. But what he gives us is a fountain pen. Thanks, I suppose. Again, yeah, sure, why not? So basically, I mean, if you want to look at it, so this is the end of the first DLC chapter. You'll get the achievement for completing this as soon as we click on the spider on his hand. This game seems to me as if somebody had... Like, you know that uh, South Park episode, if you've watched South Park? All the kids take cough medicine and then they try coming up with ideas. This is basically how I think this game went. They basically took a bunch of grown-up um, <laughs> cough medicine, i.e. the mar marijuana is by it, okay? And they went, you know what, I just got a whole bunch of ideas, man. I really don't know what I'm doing, but uh, let's put all these ideas down, stick them together. And Genesis Noir was available, so... I'm not saying it's a bad thing, because achievements are good, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this game is weird. So, again, that is the first of the DLC done, and now we can move on, and we're going into the fourth chapter called Mike Hunt. I mean, it is just called Hunt, but uh, you can always put a mic to um, brighten up everyone's day. So, again, we're just going to interact with all the uh, bubbles right here from right to left. Obviously, always try and start with the right, most right, right one. And eventually we're going to see the triangle, and we can get into Mike Hunt, the fourth chapter. Surely to God, there has got to be many people with the surname Hunt and many people with the first name Mike out there. Because parents would have had a laugh doing that. But anyway, as we begin, what we can do is grab the galaxy. And we're going to rotate it clockwise. So as soon as we begin, we're going to rotate... Uh, so grab the galaxy, rotate it clockwise. Again, the quicker you do it, the quicker the scene goes by. And we're going to get onto the next scene. And basically, we're just going to follow the deer tracks to the right. And that's going to reveal the title chapter. Mr. Hunt. Mr. M-I-K-E Hunt. So yes, we are on the hunt for a man named Mike. And when we get to this scene right here, what we can do is just interact with the uh, bits of leaves, green foliage, grey foliage, whatever kind of colour you want it to be, in order to reveal the next footprints. Same goes with this one, so just move your cursor all over them. Uh, the black foliage right here. Right here. And that's going to reveal the next set of tracks we can go to. And then we're going to pick the black foliage in the bottom right corner to get more deer tracks. And we're going to trigger a scene change. Mr. Mike. Mike Hunt. Where are you? Right. When we begin, what we can do, we can cross the river by going up. And the camera is now going to change perspective, so we can head up the screen until we reach a small pillar, which is going to be on the left-hand side. So keep going up through this bit of um, grassy grass. Go to the left, just as we pass the trees here. Okay, so now we can't go forward anymore. We're going to the left. We're going to hug this rock wall. And basically, on our left is going to be a cave entrance for us to nip our knob into. So get into the smelly, damp, moist cave. Oh, this cave needs a wash. And then just keep going up and going to the, uh, well, there's only one way to go. So just keep going up until another cutscene happens. We go to see Cavewoman. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
So we need to interact with said cavewoman a couple of times until she basically fully uh, draws a deer. Oh my god, she's gonna drain herself. Anyway, when that's done, we can now go back on ourselves and we're gonna come back out of the cave. So keep on running, don't lose your hat though, otherwise, well, you can't pay for it because you're poor apparently, as we've seen at the beginning of the game. But this time, what we're gonna be doing is following the tracks. So we got, uh, all we gotta do then is just follow the tracks here. Now, the, the particular tracks we're gonna find are the ones that are the longest ones. So as you'll be able to see, as we get around the corner here, we're just going to keep on going down. See, here's the longest ones. And then just go to the right to find who, me. Me, Snoo Snoo, cavewoman. Yeah. Interact with her. And for the final bit of this, then, we're going to move the foliage and the foliage in front of us. So move the foliage in front of us, and we're going to reveal the deer and trigger a cut on. Eventually, Jesus Christ. Somehow I made hard work of that, but this is the cutscene. And, well, you're going to be all friends, but as is so often in every TV show, movie, or anything ever made, the deer gets his ass sliced by a cavewoman who want meat, ya yeah, ya yeah, ya. Yeah. I know vegans are going to be like, Ew, why were they such savages? Why didn't they just fry up a couple of leaves to eat? Because mm. apparently all vegans told her that now. I don't know why. Sorry, that's that's not a, that's not a, a thing about vegans. I, I actually respect vegans for the diet they do, because that would kill me, personally. Um, <laughs> but I know there's nice stuff. You can have vegan chicken and vegan stuff like that, but it all tastes Kind of rubbery, doesn't it? It's like chewing on a condom, isn't it? Vegan food. Anyway, click on the moon. Um, and then again, just go clockwise as quick as, quick as you can. Um, basically, until the deer turns to bone. And then what we can do then is just pick up the deer antler. Click on <laughs> Nugget Head's um, spiral on his hand. And that ends the chapter for Mr. Hunt. So again, we couldn't find Mr. Mike Hunt. But there, he's out there somewhere. And one day we'll get him. Let's go and eat more of that uh, delicious vegan rubbery condom food, huh? So we know what to do by now, click on the gun, go to the left, and again we're going from the rightmost dot to the leftmost until we get L shaped like a diamond. Like a diamond. <laughs> See, got my Rihanna out as well. <laughs> I'm just so cute at being crap. The king of crap I am. Which is not always something to boast about, but anyway, we've hit the next. Um Chapter? Now I believe... Is this the DLC? Let me see, let me see now. Tis. Tis the next DLC. Tis. No, tisn't. Yes, tis. Sorry, tis. I thought it tis. Okay, so this is DLC number two. Now, um... Again, this... Sorry, I, I forgot if we were on to the next main chapter or if we were on to the next DLC. But tis, here we are. So what we have to do then for this one, we need to go to the left. Or left or right, whatever, until you see... Uh, those... Um, just kind of two sticks with a bunch of leaves hanging around it. Now what we have to do is interact with that. This is the longest one out of the DLC. It's not too bad, it's easy enough to follow. Um, there's not a lot for me to explain in all fairness. So we interact with the two sticks and the leaves. And then what's going to happen is we just need to go around and joining up all types of stars in order to reveal certain constellations. 
So again, just click on it and then just follow along with exactly what I do in order to reveal all of the constellations. Uh, there's no point in me explaining it. Um, it's honestly just better if you just watch it rather than me saying, click this star, click that star. Um, it'll just be easier and better if you just watch it. But let me make one more joke. Yo mama. <laughs> eh. So, you think we're done with this bit? Ah, hell nah. So this is just part one out of three what we have to do. And again, I hope that I have paced these, uh, this particular bit of DLC. I hope I've paced the puzzles enough, very well enough, that you can just follow along. Lovely. Apologies if it is a bit quick. If it is a bit quick, of course, feel free to just slow the video down some. Um, but again, you just click on the sticks with leaves, go into the second part, and just copy along with what I do. Let me tell you another joke. Your life. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop that now.
And once again, then, there she blows. So that would be the third out of three parts. So again, this is the longest one. The next DLC, we don't do until the very end of the game, actually. Uh, so just interact with the big giant type star at the top of the giant statue thing's head. And to finish this, then, all we have to do is pick up the giant croissant on the left-hand side. After we do this legendary dance of whatever the hell that was supposed to be. So there we go then, pick up the giant croissant on the left hand side, and you can pick up the flyer if you want, but it is mainly the croissant that we are after. Um, do we pick that one up as well? No, we don't. We can now just pick up the torch, or the matchstick on the light on the, the right hand side, and when you're done, click the arrow on the right, click the spiral, that is DLC 2 out of 3 done, or the levels anyway, and then we've just got one more to do, but again, we won't get that now until the end of the game, so now... We'll just crack on with the main pizza base. Main pizza base. Yeah, close enough. So again, you'll know what to do. And by the way, I don't think there's any more... Look at that, 0.05. Oh, I don't think there's anything more satisfying than that diamond achievement unlocking. Nothing makes you feel more like a man or woman than the sound of a rare achievement unlocking. So you know what to do with this bit. Go into the gunfire, go from right to left. Let's get into the new chapter. Right, what we're going to do first, smash the asteroid a couple of times. And then we're going to press and hold to right to, to go to the right to, to pan the screen until Nugget Head is expecting a big arrow head. So you can interact with everything if you want to, but we're just going to keep interacting with the screen, holding and dragging it all the way to the right, and then eventually... Eventually... So you've got to go all the way to the right. Don't stop at anything until you see this bit. So, uh, Nugget Head there is inspecting an arrowhead. Now, we need to select to investigate. So, go ahead, click on the arrowhead. Eventually. Happy days. And then we need to hold to the right to pan the screen again. So, once this is done, just you got actually got to hold it yourself and then go all the way to the right. Next, what we're going to do is click on the foliage. It's covering the right side of the screen. So, we get the cursor. Ignore the arrowheads, balls to them. You just need to press and hold the A button there to get rid of all the foliage. Oh, the leaves and the foliage. Um, and then we can go to the right until we trigger another scene change. So another very easy bit, all we got to do is have a look, uh, press the A button and go through the grass until you see six rocks. So you'll see always two at a time, grab the first two and they'll normally be sort of to the right and left of the middle one. So they'll always generally be quite close together. So go to the left and you should see the next two and that will be the title screen 
and that is us being able to move on as well. So the six we've got now, now we need to click on the three sheep, eventually, there's going to be three sheep. Let's nip over to the right. Okay, so click on the three sheep here, we're going to get another path for us, very nice. And now what we're going to do is keep, we're going to keep going to the right. Now, I made a mistake of um, basically going to the right, and when I thought it was at the end, then I stopped. But what we have to do is just keep going all the way to the right until the scene automatically changes. So, and you'll know that. Uh, so we need to interact with this rug right here to get um, Nugget Head to keep going. There we go. And now, when we go all the way to the right, here is the vase. Now, I thought I just had to interact with the vase here. But what you have to do is keep going all the way to the right until it goes in like that. So you'll always know when you're at the end. So then you can just keep on uh, spinning the... Uh, vase, so we're gonna grab the vase, hold right until it's smashed, and then we can continue going to the right until we reach a wall with an open door. And remember, this wall with the open door, but keep going all the way to the right until you see it change and sort of zoom in on the door ever so slightly, like that. There you go, I was moronic and didn't do that a lot. So, we'll open the door, and then the tower just sort of crumbles, kind of, um, well, I'm not gonna make a joke about it. Uh, but that one crumbles. Now we're going to follow the new trail to the right. So again, click and drag. Now we just need to get rid of all the bricks. So one by one, just get rid of all the bricks here. And now we can just go all the way to the right again. Again. And now we can now click on the lotus. Any of the lotuses. In fact, you've got to click on all of them. So start with whatever and finish them all off. And then after this, we can now select the statue. And we are going to break it, which looks good because it kind of looks like forearm devil work. And man, they no good. They no good. So, go to the right. Sorry, this statue we need to break, which is kind of like bad Santa Claus. So, click on that Santa Claus, bad statue. And then we're going to investigate the debris to trigger another cutscene. <laughs> Whoopsie! Cheeky little volcanic explosion. Well, that's fine. All we got to do is just press and hold the A button there to get rid of some of the ash. As soon as you see the staff in the middle, the, uh, which the guy is holding, or the, the which was a dead guy, now uh, was a live guy, now is dead guy, interact with it. Then we can pick it up when he drops it. And then, we get, like I so said, we, so we pick that up, and a nugget... Ha Nugget Man's hand is going to appear. Let's complete the chapter. And we can move on to the next chapter called Thor. And no, it's not Thor as in the mighty Thor. It's kind of Thor as if you... You know when you were moronic as a very young child. And you decided to lick a frozen pole. And then your tongue got stuck and you had to thaw that boy out. That kind of Thor. Yeah, we've all done it. There's no point pretending we were all good as kids. We were all morons. Let's, let's face it. We were at some point in our life. We were... <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. That's how you know you had a good fun childhood.
Right then, we need to be doing some changing of the seasons. So, we need to grab the earth and drag it down until a storm appears. So, that storm. Yeah, so drag it down until the storm appears, which indicates springtime. Ha, oh, that's very nice, very nice. And then it's just going to pan over here. Well, kind of nice, because we're now dripping wet. Which, and we're not even dripping wet in the good way. Right, next we need to drag the earth, and we need to drag it left until it glows gold. Like now, and you have to keep hold of it until the cutscene changes. So, because it's so easy, that's what I mean, this game, you just, you think you've done stuff, and then you look away for a minute, and then the stuff hasn't been done, because you haven't done it long enough. It's, it's finicky, and it's weird, but again, it's easy achievement, so let's do it. Now we're going to move the earth to the right, and that is going to trigger the autumn scene. Drag it to the right, baby, so you see all the leaves appear. I wonder what people's favourite um, time of the year is. Ah, mine is... I think everyone's the same, especially in Britain. Everyone's a moany bastard in, in Britain. So when it's cold, they go, I can't wait till it's sunny, go in beer gardens. And by the way, uh, let's turn the earth until the screen turns white. Uh, which was up this time, sorry. And then it's snowy. But yeah, in Britain, I don't know what it is in America. Because you either... Americans either get it really hot, too hot, or too blustery cold. Um, but anyway, let's just keep on running to the right <laughs> for the time being as soon as we can. Um, and all we need to do now is follow the path until we reach a hut, which is going to tr trigger a cutscene, so this one. Uh, but yeah, I do feel sorry for America. You either get a, a million degrees sun, a million below degrees winter, but then British people complain. Oh, it's too hot, I can't wait till it's Christmassy in winter. And then when it's too cold, everyone just is miserable until it's sunny again. That's... That's basic Britain for you. And the fact that apparently we don't have good uh, teeth, according to every American ever. I'm not sure why that is, but anyway. So once we've clicked on the um, couple of items we need to click on, now we can just keep going to the left. So you have to click on the list, sorry. And then we can now go to the left of the screen. We're going to head back to the left and follow the path down. And we're going to follow the path to the left. Basically, there's only one way that we can go for the minute, but we're going to reach a black pillar with a bit of chopped wood in front of it. So go down from here, and there is the first item. <coughs> Excuse me. So grab the wood. Now what we can do is rejoin the path and continue going left. And now we're going to follow it all the way to a toppled cart. See, my American is coming on strong. Cart. Um, so eventually it's going to appear... Okay, so it was a bit further away than I thought. But anyway, as we get to the cart, interrupt with the curtain to open it up. And the middle right one, the very middle right, open that one up. And that is going to get us the leaves, which we need as well. So that'll be the second item, the tea leaves. And then what we can do now, after we've got this bit. Uh, again, Nugget Head's going to pick them up, so no worries about that. But now we can return to the path. And we're going to head right until we reach a gap in the sort of walls right here. So here's the gap. So go right. And then what we're going to do is eventually we're going to head down in between these two stone pillars. And right here is a nice bucket of water. Probably frozen as hell. But that's okay. So grab the water. So that is now all the items that we need. And now we can just go back up to the screen. So go through all the trees. We're going to rejoin the path and head back to the right to the hut. So when we get back, what we're going to do then is click on the smaller hut. So we're going to have this little cutscene. We're going to click on the smaller hut first. And then we're going to give the man his items. And then after this little bit of scene, we are going to then select the larger hut entrance. So you're going to see the couple of people go in there and be like, Thank you, thank you for my stuff. We're just going to follow them in. So click the larger hut when you can. So 
So these next bits are basically, I mean, we, we, we're close to the end, but these next cutscenes, etc., especially this part, it's going to take a while. So uh, just sit tight, hold on, take a look at Baby Dewey right there, the big chunk as on the right. Basically, just keep waiting until the fire pit is lit up and you can actually interact with it. You stupid mother bah What a way to insult your hosts. And that it's a big the big thing in Japanese culture where if they offer you if they do offer you something, oh boy, you better not mess it up. That uh, yeah. <laughs> so and to be honest, that's what I love about the Japanese. Just just honestly, everything about Japanese culture I am in love with. Uh, basically, what we're doing here is just clicking on a couple of the pictures until we get to the next puzzle. Um, so, yeah, just keep on every time you can. Just keep clicking on the white picture, and then we should be good to go. But, yeah, Japanese culture is just fantastic. British culture is basically just getting pissed and having some drinks and, you know, making an absolute toss bag out yourself. But, uh, hey, we wouldn't change it for the world. So, uh, British have got some culture, too. <laughs> yes. So, we've got a few puzzles that we need to do now, and let me just start off by telling you, these puzzles, if you've got one piece, you can drag it around and it will automatically click in. So, obviously this broken tray is fine, all we need to do is eventually just go onto it, grab it, and you just need to put it in exactly the right place and it will click automatically. So, don't um, take your finger off the A button, or your thumb off the A button until you see it clicked in. So now we've got a doll, so pick the top right, uh, top bottom right, sorry, and as you can see there, I thought it, you just clicked it there, but just keep going until it clicks in by itself. So the bottom left hand corner, just go up to it and just place it where you think it is, but move it around until it clicks in automatically, rather than you, like, uh, getting, uh, clicking off the A button, and well, you know the rest. So, Grab any piece you want and just make sure you sort of know where it's going and just put it onto the place where it'll go automatically. Now the next one can be a little bit complicated, but again, it's not too bad. It's just the cup that we, it's just the skull, sorry. So again, the skull isn't bad. Also remember to grab the chunky yellow tooth there at the bottom. I did forget that one. Uh, that is why it takes a little, why it takes another 20 seconds or something because I didn't realize, because I was quite moronical again. But make sure to grab the skull tooth. Oh, there we go. I've actually got it now. Uh, so we'll just turn him back around. By the way, rotating it, you've got to stop quite early, because it does the whole... It just keeps on going. Kind of like a gravitational earth pull, which is cute. So that's Am's skull. And the last one, then, is the cup that we broke. So again, it's the same thing. Um, just place it. You're going to have to need to rotate this one, so just rotate where necessary, and then just place all the pieces in the puzzly PC fitty puzzle piece bit. Yeah? Okay, good.
And that's the end of that chapter. Now, I wonder if any of us are any good at fixing stuff in real life. Because if that was me, I would have been stabbed long ago in all fairness. Let me fix it for you. Ah, oh, crap, I just made it worse. That would be me. Because I am, uh... <laughs> I am basically Wreck-It Ralph, which is... Unfortunate, but hilariously true. So that's the end of that chapter anyway, so we can move on. Kind of a long one, but kind of mainly because of the cutscenes and stuff, which took a... Took a while. Okay, so we're going to start off this uh, chapter called Improvisations with a Frequency Slider Puzzle. So, the first puzzle there is to tune in the sound waves. We need to set the slider at the bottom to the correct frequency. And we just need to hold it for a few seconds until it moves you on to the next. So, when we begin, again, there'll be audio and visual clues to know that you're on the right track. But if not, just do exactly what I do here. So, as we begin, move the slider right three. So grab the slider there and go, <laughs> well, we'll try that again. One, two, three, and then just hold it. It doesn't always have to be dead on three. It might be a little bit to the right, a little bit to the left, but just make sure to hold it. And as you can see, when the screen starts going in, that's when you know you're at the right track. Then move it left four and then hold it. There that one is. And then move it right sort of one and a half. So here's one, and then about half. There we go. Make sure to hold that. And for the final one, uh, move it right six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there we go. So that'll be that particular puzzle done. And then what we can do here is we're going to keep on heading to the right until we just reach a uh, bottom of some stairs. Job done. He does a lot of running on space stuff in this game. And that's probably why he's so slender as a man. So when we get here then, click on the stairs in order for us to knob up them, or walk up them. You don't knob up stairs, do you? Who knobs up, who knobs stairs? Then we need to click on the train, and then we need to click it to the right. So click the train, and yep, just uh, drag it to the right. And then a gold lever is going to appear. So click on the gold lever there at the bottom, it's going to change the train. And then what we need to do is drag the incoming train down until the screen appears. So click on the train, grab it down, drag it down, and then the doors will open and Nugget Head will get out. Alright, so get uh, Nugget Head going to the left. And then click on him three times in order to trigger another scene. So you're going to be like, oh my god, is that my is that my girlfriend, Miss Huge, Miss Hugh Jazz? No, we just need to click on him and drag him to the right. Uh, basically, just following the sound, just basically following the sound waves. That's it. So we're just walking. We've got our no neck. We've got our just tiny little Mr. Mackey opposite head going. And then eventually, when we drag it down, 
we are going to be able to select a bass player and that is going to select uh, a trigger another cutscene so from here click the bass player cutscene begins again And so for the next puzzle, it's going to be a case of Simon Sheds. Right, so, with the first one then, it's basically Simon Sheds again. So remember, so it's three, and then one. So again, we're just copying exactly the same thing he does, but I'm going to tell you what to do anyway. So there we go. So now it's three, one, two, four. There we go, so that's that one done. And then for the final one. For the final one then, it's three, one, two, four, two, and three. And that is how you do that particular puzzle. Now, all we have to do for this bit, we just have to play literally any notes until we progress the scene a couple more times. So just keep playing anything. Makes not a spit like a difference there. Not a spit roasted difference. <laughs> And that's that's 64 zoo lane bit done right so now we uh, there's gonna basically gonna be a full set of scales that uh, form across the screen again all we need to do for this bit is press and hold the a button across them to turn them all gold so they're all white at the minute so get every one of these going gold as hell oh yeah and then go back across them to turn them black So, there we go, get them all gold. Okay, and then turn them all black. Lovely. Right, sorted. We all good? And we, we still go in. Okay, we just need to click now on any of the, any of the Nugget Head uh, men's to perform and trigger this cutscene, which you just did. So, click on any one of those. And we are basically, and that kind of looked like the Colonel Kentucky Fried Chicken Man, didn't it? So, we're almost done. With this one, all we have to do now is click and hold the A button whilst we move to the right uh, above the white line to form the city skyline. So enjoy the cutscene for a minute. Now there's going to be a train, so what we need to do is select the train and drag it to the right to just move the scene on. And then after this, we can pick up the base, click on Nugget Head's uh, hand uh, spiral, and that is the chapter complete. Unfortunately, the basis met a rather grueling, grisly, untimely end. But he wasn't that bad a base, was he? <laughs> there's a lot more worse bases out there making a lot more money. I'm not going to say who, I'll leave that interpretation up to you. <laughs>
So here's a kind of, if you ever wanted to be a scientist and you thought you were smart enough but you were never actually smart enough to get into the field, well, welcome to a science kind of section. So what we need to do, uh, for this first bit, we are going to grab a rock, any particular rock, any ones, we need to do this uh, two or three times. Basically, we just need to pick up the nearby rocks to throw, I think we've got to pick all three up, and then that's going to trigger the title card, then we can knob on. <laughs> you, just got, you just got hit in the back, that's funny. But what's less funny is imagine just trawling through space forever and ever. You're just an endless nothing. Until, of course, you hit the floor like that. Then you probably end up being a little something. Okay, so from here, when we are available and uh, we can continue Nugget Head again, we're going to go to the right to examine a tree. This particular tree will do. And we're going to click on the napkin a napkin a few times and once that's open we can now keep going right basically we're going to keep going right through a bunch of whole scenes until we reach through it until we can go through a door into a club and select a drink we're getting drunk again again this guy is all about drink and seduction by the way ignore uh, the things that are happening on screen this is basically Vladimir Putin trying to get in everyone's games now and to me, that just screams that he's angry just because he's probably got a one and a half inch wonder. And that's why he's just trying to invade absolutely everything. Because he is complete douchebaggery. And if you disagree with me, then man, there's something wrong with you. But again, ignore the uh, Putin attempts to try and uh, scare us. It ain't working, bro. So you know the drill, after a hard day of uh, falling through space and going hunting or something, click any of the drinks, and then he's going to take a drink. Again, we just need to do the um, click, and, uh, click and hold to pop all the bubbles on screen again, and we need to do that with the bottles and the hearts, so we need to do this another two times here. Damn dog, she literally looks like she can eat us for breakfast, me and my little head. Her hips are just bigger than my whole body, which is actually really nice. Okay, we're just taking a nap apparently then. So we're going to go clockwise, we're going to click and drag the rings in the sky clockwise to move the time along. Basically until a matchbox appears. So just keep spinning as quick as you can, going clockwise. And then eventually, a matchbox will appear. Alright, there it is. So click on it to open it, examine it, and then select a match and drag it across the black bar to strike it. So you need to drag it across oh, the black bar, the white bar, sorry. 
that's going to trigger another cutscene. And then when we regain control, we can select the spiral button in the bottom right to move on as soon as we end this cutscene. And plip. Oh, well, I say. Oh, do you always do this on the first date? Oh, Mr. Scientist, what are you doing down there? Oh, well, thank you for polishing it. Uh, polishing it off. That was very nice, very nice. But I don't do this kind of thing usually, but, um, well, you're a pretty scientist. Right, anyway, now we can move on and now we can start doing the sciencey stuff. So, now we're going to begin. All this crap's going to continue, continue. And then we can click the spiral, there we go. So now we can click the spiral at the bottom right hand corner. We basically have to do five sort of slidey sort of puzzles in order to continue. So, first things first, what we need to do is click on the uh, robot of the background, the sort of lunar buggy. And then, because Nugget Head is it's a bit of a dunce in this game to be honest, he's broken that. So, our scientist lady, who has just polished us off lovely and who now hates us, is going to fix this by fighting with herself. So yeah, she's beating the crap out of herself just to get that working. So, when that's working, click on the TV, and now what we have to do is specific, ignore the board, we just have to do specific things in order to continue. So, the two dials on the X166, put the left and right one directly in the middle. There we go. And then on the thing at the top, move the slider all the way to the right, and then the knob... The volume knob, we'll call it, all the way to the right as well. The green button should now click on. So now you can click the green button. And, uh, again, a little bit of a cutscene appears until we can hit that spiral button again. So this is just what's going to happen. That's all we're going to do. We're going to do this five times until the spiral appears in the bottom right. Like right meow. So click on the spiral. And let's go again. So again, as you can see, this is going to be two out of five. Just, just awesome. Right, now what we need to do is um, click the chalkboard. Uh, click the chalk on the chalkboard and then click the monitor eventually after this bit. Um, to solve... Sorry, these cutscenes, I always keep thinking they're a lot shorter than they actually are. Oh, that's right. So as soon as she gets into a fight with herself again, the monitor's going to go green. Click on that. Now what we have to do this time, again, the two dials on the X166, make sure that they are both in the middle. The left one there, and then the right one, make sure the slide is at the right, and then the volume knob at the top one is all the way to the right. And then we've got a new thing on the bottom right hand corner, so the um, so the knob in the middle, or the, knob on the, the, the slider on the right, put it halfway down there. Yep, that will do. And then the sort of knob in the middle of the COP547, we need to be putting that all the way sort of so that the dial is facing up. I'm just being a bit of a dong right here. There we go. So this knob, turn it all the way up so the dial is pointing up. Then click the green button again. Then we can click the spiral again. Next, what we need to click is the chemistry flask, which is basically just to the right of us. 
So or the the test tube or whatever it is. So click that one. She's gonna get into a fight with herself. And <laughs> she's gonna fix the monitor again, which we'll need to uh, click eventually. And once again, when we're here, we need to put the left and right dials uh, at the middle. This volume, uh, this sort of uh, knob at the very right-hand side. Make sure that this dial in the bottom right-hand corner, this one right here, is facing sort of towards the left. Yep, sort of, um, sort of on the first small line there. So there, and then put the slider on the right to about halfway, and then we've got a new one at the very top. We need to make sure that's about a quarter of the way down. Just keep. Keep going until you hit the green button there, and then we can go again. So, when we're done with that bit, grab the satellite dish basically directly in front of you right there. And then a whole bunch of other things going to happen. Oh, she's taking a break. You hon? Yeah, you do your crosswords. There. I'll do all the freaking work. Eh? Are you going to pay me? Actually, you already did by um, getting on your knees, apparently. Uh, but anyway, when this happens, again, she's going to get in a fight with herself. Monitor's going to appear. We need to pick something else. So once we've examined the monitor then, once again make sure that the dial, uh, dial at the very top is sort of showing to the left that there's only two sort of small white lines by it. The slider on the right of this one and the knob is at the right. The X166 here, um, make sure that both of them are in the middle of course. Then the bottom right hand corner machine, make sure that is at uh, pointing sort of again to the left. And the slider on the right is halfway down and then we've got a new one. Uh, the L75 there, the top right hand corner, put the dial sort of to the right and then press the green button and we go again. So from here, click on any of the flowers, and we're going to pick up, funnily enough, we're going to pick up a flower. And now we need to do this just one more time. Aw, oh, thanks, baby girl, with chopsticks in your hair. You're so pretty. But apparently we're going to set the flowers on fire. We're, we're quite the uh, Wrecked Ralph of noir -y genesis -y stuff, aren't we? Quite crap, in all fairness. Anyway, again, she's going to get into a fight with herself, and then we need to examine the mon monitor one last time. So let's go ahead and do that. So, first things first, on the very top one, um, move the dial all the way to the right. So there's only three white lines sort of showing. The one underneath, you need to put the knob all the way to the left on the 5246R. The X166, again, make sure the dials are both in the middle, like so. On the bottom right-hand corner machine, make sure that the dial is pointing up and that the slider on the right is halfway down. Or halfway up, whatever, whichever way you want, as long as it's about halfway. And the sort of karaoke machine on the right, um, you can click the uh, dial to put that up just one so that it's sort of facing top left. And then the new one above the TV, make sure that the knob, the A knob, is on the left hand side. So there you go, the M2000 just above the monitor there, make sure that the A button is to the left. And that, that's the end of that chapter, finally. Well, we've got a few more things to do first, but the sciencey stuff, how smart do you feel? Do you, sm do, you, do you feel intelligent? Do you feel like you can conquer the world? And, you know, answer scientist questions such as, will a snail ever go more than one mile per hour? Or if eating three bananas a day gives you the poops or blocks you up incredibly? 
you know, those science questions. Which you can probably get on Google. Right, well, thanks, Big Butt. Let's get out of here. Well, she's celebratoried. Celebrated. And we go about our daily way trying to get with our lover, Miss Hugh Jass. But for now, we're going to pick up the notebook, which has appeared. And we're going to open it. We're going to open it all the way. So just keep going and flip it till the end. And then what we can do, eventually, we've got one more puzzle to do. One or two more puzzles to do. And we need to hover over the spiral now, as soon as we see this spiral. So hover over the top of it to break it all the way around. And the pieces are spread out. Now we need to click and drag all the pieces back into their correct places. Now again, remember when you grab each piece, just put it into whatever it is and it'll do it automatically, remember. So just click it wherever you think it goes and we'll do it automatically. So go all the way until you get it all the way to the top. And L, last thing we got to do then, we need to select all the pieces, go all the way around to turn them all nice and gold, one at a time. And then one, did I say one more thing? We got one more thing left to do. We need to then push left when our hand appears. There, yeah, that just makes no sense. So when our hand appears anyway, we need to push left to touch the top of the spiral. There we go. So, tots and tap. That's going to trigger a cutscene. All we need to do then is pick up the notebook, open it, flip it through to the end, and then the hand spiral. That completes the Coliseon chapter. So then, now we've got a nice couple of delicious small ones to do. Now we've got about, we've got under an hour left now. So we've got about 55 minutes of the game left. Of course, that does include uh, level three of the DLC. Um, but for now, we've got two short chapters to smash our way through. So we're going to do the first one, and this one's called Orbiting. And again, there's not a lot to do here. So again, we'll just smash through the dialogue. The Kardashev scale describes three stages of civilization development, the type 1 civilization, blah blah blah. I'm a reader. I'm just... No, I'm no good. I'm no good. Right, so what we need to do, we need to grab the sun when the cursor becomes available. Like now, so grab the sun and then rotate clockwise until rings form around it. 
And now what we need to do is rotate this to make the rings turn gold with the runes. So as soon as you see them, for me it was sort of going right. I'm not sure if it's random for you, but I had to sort of turn right and down a little bit. As soon as you see the gold rings around them and it starts going out, you know you've done it. Blemissimo, bang on, yeah? Right, now we can examine the sun center. And that's going to trigger the next scene. So for this bit, not sure if this is the first time that we meet Hugh, uh, Miss Hugh Jazz. But all we got to do for this bit then is just keep clicking the door directly in front of us until we get in. And oh boy, you're going to see one... Hell of a big booty, y'all. Big booty, y'all. I mean, goddamn, man, if she's seeing that many men in this space, small space of time and gets seducted by one flower, then, hey, we're all up for it. So, I mean, well, we all know what's going to happen. Dress is off. Oh, we've seen it. We've seen big, chunky butt crack. There it is. Damn. So click all the bubbles anyway. We need to, apparently, we need to um, get some Dutch courage to go, to go big butt diving. That is exactly what we're going to happen. So again, keep on smashing it out. I mean, to be fair, I can honestly see why um, uh, why our hero Nugget Head would fall in love with such a beautiful big haircut and a big butt as well. Yeah, it's just it's, men get easily seduced by absolutely anything, by the way. Men are weak when it comes to big butts. Anyway, just keep um, pressing and holding the A button to keep spinning around. Um, for some reason, again, this bit can be quite finicky. So just keep spinning around until the black hole gets bigger and bigger and bigger. We have to complete this bit three times. And then that's basically it. We need to pick up the flower, tap Nugget Head's hand spiral to complete the chapter. And that'll be it. Then we can move on to Voyage. So, welcome to Voyage, the old voyage of life. Right, couple of things that we have to do. And again, there's not that many things that we have to do, actually. So, 
Uh, we need two. As you can see, there is a departure board on the left-hand side. Now, what we have to do is click on that departure board, and there's going to be three departure times. Sirius, 425, Vegas C, 705, and Cygnus, which is 1115. So what we have to do now is click on the clock, and then turn the small clock to four, and then the big clock to 25. Press B button to back out, or go off the screen and uh, choose the arrow to go out there. And that's going to get rid of a whole bunch of people. And then just do the same thing again. So click back on the clock. This time we're going to do Vegas C. So move the small hand to 7. The big hand to 5. And then back out. That's going to get rid of another bunch of people. And then click on the clock one more time and get Cygnus going. So you need to grab the small hand to 11. And the big hand to 15. And what that's going to do is trigger the cutscene. So, another easy one basically done now. As soon as we get here, we can just keep on going to the right. There we go. We're going to see the title screen appear now. Voyage. But this is basically the end of it. So, uh, when we get here, we need to click and drag the space left of the satellite to rotate it until we see a gold disc. So, here we go. So, grab the old satellite. Sputnik satellite. And we need to rotate it enough so that we can see the gold disc. It is there somewhere. There it is. Just a small, tiny gold disc. Now, you can actually turn it around. And you can actually listen to it. But, I mean, genuinely, it's a couple of hours long. <laughs> so, if you want to add hours to your gameplay just by listening to this, hey, be my guest. But it is actually hours long. So, we're not going to um, do that and make it a, you know, nine-hour video just to listen to a golden disc record but we can back out move on to the next scene and then we can just tap nugget heads hand now to complete the chapter so that'll be voyage and next we'll be going to the biggest and longest chapter of them all because it'll basically be the end chapter after we do the dlc which i believe is next So yes, we've got the top two on the right there are just pictures, but make sure that we're going to choose the bottom icon this time, the bottom dot, because it's going to be the final of the three DLCs. So make sure to click that one then, and then we will finally be able to get this one done, and we can hear another beautiful rare achievement being popped. Um, but what you have to do, this one can be... Potentially a little bit not tricky, um, but slightly sli slightly annoying. So <coughs> excuse me once and more. So basically, we have to find three planets, or we have to find three different things. So the first one is um, a nerve cluster, kind of like a black hole type thing. The second one is a planet, and the third one is a missile. But for some reason, people are having various things where they have to. Um, Interact with um, alternate lens to uh, be able to see something, and I'll, t I'll show you what I mean now. So we're going to see two, basically, as you can see, two dots at the bottom. One's white, one's dark. They are the lenses um, that you can use. So from here, all you have to do, we choose the alternate filter, which is on the right-hand side there, and then we can follow the black trail to a nerve cluster and click on it. So we'll just go back to the other one. All we have to do is just drag it. Follow the black trail, which, again, for me, sometimes, 
I don't know if it's going to work for everyone. I don't know if you have to actually put the alternative lens on or if it's going to... Um, I, again, I'm not sure if it's going to be random. I assume not. But if you go to the top right here, you can see this big, big black cluster. Go down. And then we're going to go to the left slightly. And then you can just see that is what the nerve cluster is. It is literally a small black hole. So, pr literally from where you start, you could probably just go down and to the right a bit. Uh, but for some reason, I just had trouble with these ones. Uh, it, well, the first two, anyway. And not so much troubles, but it was a case of alternating between the different lens to be able to know where the hell you are and where the hell you're not. So now we've got a third uh, lens, as we can see. And this is the second search, the planet. So we're going to go um, to the right. So just having a look at some of these uh, lenses. Uh, but basically, we're going to go to the right. We're going to see this set of rings. The planet is just... Uh, this planet is just above and to the left of the rings. Um, again, it may not... Be, if it's not there, you can actually go to the bottom left of the screen. Cycle filters over the uh, Golden Boy constellation. And then go back and look. Just in case that doesn't seem to work. Because for whatever particular reason, it's... It's a bit tricky to find. I'm just interacting with ships here for some reason. But that is what you have to do. Um, so it's all the way to the right. We've seen the ring planet. And the planet is above quite a way actually. It might be above and quite left. So there it is then. So it's... Um, yeah. Apologies this one isn't too fantastic right there. Um, but again, I'm not sure if you have to use the alternate lens. And then use the first lens. But anyway, that's what we're looking for anyway. So, to the left and up, quite a way away, is the second planet. Luckily, I'm not as moronic this time for the third one. We have to find the, the uh, missile. So, you can see the black um, smudge or the black path. All you have to do is just go to the right, get the bottom lens out or the bottom filter. And now, this is a path that we can follow. So, for some reason, this just went, this went nice and much easier... This is just great. There's the missile. That one, thankfully, was a lot easier. And that'll be that for this title update then. So again, very random, actually, of the developers to put in this title update. Uh, grab the flyer here. Grab the photo. Very flattering. Oh, I'm so scared of stuff. That's what he looked like. But yeah, again, very random. Because <laughs> um, I was going to do this guide before. Um, and then when a title update came out, I thought, well, better... <laughs> Why does, might as well do it now. Get it out the way, huh? So, yeah. Who knows? They might come out with some title updates in the future. But for now, we've got another 210 free gamer score out of that. So, happy days. And that's rare for a developer to do, isn't it? Normally, it's the, you know, jump <laughs> jump on the same spot 10 times for a 1,000 gamer score type stuff. But, uh, well, not this time, apparently. So, let's get into it then. This is basically now the final... Um, chapter, and yes, we've still got quite a while to go, but it's it's the longest one that there is, and then we've got one more short one actually after this, but this is the definitely the longest one. But it's basically two chapters in one. So one, the first one's called Singularity, and the next one is called Singular. So we got a couple of spirals, golden spirals in our hand. What you need to do is grab one of them, put them into the golden ring, and watch as your life unfolds before your eyes. And it sucks everything up. Yeah, just brilliantly. Right, so this basically uh, triggers the title card now. Singularity. 
And then what we can do from here, we're going to walk slightly up and then to the right. So walk across Singularity. We're going to go past the um, planet right here. And then we're going to go um, sort of up, keep going up and right until we find the Earth. It should be close to the Y. It's going to be... There it is. So yeah, just above the Y, more or less, is the Earth. So what we're going to do is uh, get back out of that. And then we're going to click on Nugget Head. And then we're going to drag the spiral onto the Earth. Job done. And we've got a lot more job done to go. Stop! Stop! What's wrong with you? Right, from this bit, we're going to grab the center of the screen. I'm going to drag it to the right in order to open a portal. So keep dragging it all the way to the right. It does go quite slow, but just keep on going to the right. And then that opens up that bad boy. And then the golden spiral is going to go poof. So we're going to see a new character. This character is called Everyman. Um, so basically, what Everyman is, is every man and woman ever. So, to me, I mean, it's them hips don't lie, bro. Them hips don't lie. You got chips without the C. You got them hips. So, what's going to happen then? We've uh, spoken to every man. Now all you have to do, you just have to select each one to hear them speak. Um, this isn't a case of like, you know, who do you find most attractive? You just got to click each one to hear them speak and then click away. Stop now, eternal demon. Stop time. Beat, brother. <laughs> Stop worrying, time traveler. Right, so now every man's going to turn back. What we have to do, we need to click the cl click on the smoke to clear the screen. Now, if you wanted to choose all four, you can always just go with the cave woman who already had her boobs out. That's, I mean, that's always good, isn't it? That's, it's already done. You already basically got to second base without trying. So, unless, of course, the scientist was very friendly. Or, of course, if you wanted to go all out Japanese war, that's always a good one. Um, and I forget the other one. Sorry, I forgot the other one. Oh, that's silly of me. Right, anyway. We've cleared the smoke. And now, when Nugget Head finally raises his hand, we need to tap on the gold spiral. So, interact with the dialogue here. A lot of times we'll have to do that now. Now, we need to click on the gold spiral, not the level end one. The one on the right. That will move through the text screens. Oh, there you go. The, um, he was like a like a miner or something. Ooh. <laughs> well, God damn. I mean, I tell you what. If every man wants to give us a kiss and then push us over the edge... Do we get a choice in what every man wants to be? So if we go look today, I'm feeling a bit of feeling a bit of caveman, uh, cavewoman booby today. You might just you know, and then maybe you think feeling a bit of sumo wrestler style today. Some male sumo style wrestler. Yeah, feeling that. <laughs> Tell you what, every man, not a bad, not not a bad one. So now we can just smash through this bit of dialogue. And then what we have to do for this bit, again, now a lot of these bits before ending the game, it's basically a lot of waiting around. So grab a match, spark it up by dragging it from the left to the right. And then what you're going to see, um, you just have to walk around, basically, until the match goes out. So keep doing this three times. Doesn't matter where you go, doesn't matter what you do. You can do anything you want, but you have to just walk around until the match runs out. Repeat that step three times. 
then we'll be able to examine a floating gold wouch. It's Britney Wouch! So there's the Wouch. Examine Britney's Gold Wouch. And now what we have to do is basically, again, we're just passing the time. So we're in the middle of nowhere, middle in the middle of butt fudge nowhere. We just have to keep clicking on Nugget Head to pass the time. And then eventually, um, we just have to do this with all six matches. So it's going to take a couple of minutes. But you just have to light a match, click on Nugget Head to pass the time, strike another match. And just keep doing that until the matchbook, or the matchbox, sorry, is empty. Saying matchbook like you're an American or something. Until the matchbox is empty. So we've only got one left. Now what do you think we're going to do with that? We're just going to burn everything. So go up and down and all around until you burn every single item that you see on screen. Um, again, I, I assume this is meant to represent um, bad choices you've made in life. Or the fact you've stolen off hobos and dead people, maybe. I still don't friggin' know. Okay. So, what you need to do, click on the fire repeatedly, keep clicking it, and then click on the door handle. Wiggle the door handle up and down with the left stick. Uh, <laughs> eventually. And there we go. That will complete this chapter. That's going to get us the Singularity Achievement. And then we're going to jump straight in to the Singular Chapter. So, turns out we um, burned our hand, fuming. So now we have to tap our hand until it falls away. Eh, 
have no arm left. <laughs> that's, that's unfortunate. But that's what happens when you burn everything and then try to escape. It, I Yeah, that, that is just what happens. Right, so when we um, have seen this cutscene, what we need to do is just walk all the way to the right again until we reach a golden statue. Ah, like this golden statue, yes. Right, what we need to do, we need to interact with it three times in order to move on to the next screen. So, back out, interact with it three times. And then what we need to do, we're going to interact with every man. Because our beautiful booby cave woman, sumo wrestler style, every man type thing. Is going to appear, there he, she is. Mm, yes. Then what we need to do, we just have to select every dialogue box uh, to move the conversation along until it stops changing. Then, when it stops changing, we need to click on every man again to complete a ring of flowers at our feet. So, yeah, click on every man here. So as soon as the dialogue stops, you need to actually click the dialogue box and then click on every man. Um, he's basically going to give us a whole bunch of flowers. Uh, keep clicking, keep clicking. It's going to be a whole bunch of flowers until it, it does a ring around the rosy. And then what we can do is we need to click. We see. I see. You pee. Oh, wait. <laughs> that, that wasn't meant for you. Sorry. So click all of the flowers there to collect them. That's going to give us an arm, which is... I mean, I prefer my normal arm, but there we go. Right, so for this bit then, after this next cutscene... You look at me. And I can see the love we share eternally. This is where it's getting goddamn nuts now. So, we need to press and hold the A button, then we need to drag Nugget Head and Everyman around all of the white discs and lines in the play area to sort of colour them in. So this first one on the left, we need to colour them all gold, uh, as you can see. And then there's going to be... Uh, <laughs> there's going to be a whole bunch of weird dances. So, from here we're going to go up into this next sort of area. We need to go around it, so go sort of clockwise around it, and that is going to be the first puzzle uh, that we need to complete. There's basically four small puzzles that we need to complete now. This one is called The Hunter. Hello, my name is Hunter. I don't know, that's not a good name. Uh, yeah, Hunter, yeah, yeah, my name is Mike Hunter. So, this small puzzle, all we have to do is click on the spiral of plants until we get to the bottom. And that is all we have to do for this particular one. And then it starts doing like that with this weird crazy dance and singing stuff. Go up and then go through to the next one. So do another clockwise around it. It's going to get the next puzzle up called the Ronin. This is the next puzzle. So fly your bum the snatches back down. There we go. Right. All we have to do for this one, we need to grab puzzle pieces and we need to pull them into place 
on a silhouette above. So basically like we've done earlier with the tea and tea tray and stuff, we just have to grab the puzzle pieces, pull them into place. Now remember, just keep going somewhere where you think it is until it automatically clicks in, rather than doing what I'm doing for the first two here and letting go of the A button. So just keep going around until it automatically clicks in. Finish that one, and then we can move on with the weird dance and weird <laughs> singing stuff going on. Again, not a freaking clue, mate. Sod. Nugget Head looks hilarious with one arms when he's dancing there, doesn't he? Not saying that, that that's hilarious to other one-armed people, but we've just been used to seeing him with two arms. Anyway, straight up is the next puzzle. This one's going to be called The Musician. And again, it's the same thing as we've done before. We just need to copy the bass player um, three times. So it's kind of like the Simon Says type style type game once again. And I will tell you exactly which one it is, just so you're not, uh, so it's easier that way. Nah, 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 nah. Right, so the first one then is going to be two, four. So two and four. There we go, job done. Then the next one is going to be two, four, three. So two, four, and three. Boom, ba -dum. And then the fourth one is going to be two, four, three, one. So two, four, three, and one. And that is that gets us done. And it's going to be another bit of dancing with. And for the final one then, sort of to the right of us now, at the very, very top, there's the white light, the sun or whatever it is, just do another clockwise big stig boy around that one. And then we're going to do the final puzzle, which is called the scientist, which again is what we've done with um, our scientist little love bug, who polished us off lovely, remember, if you, uh, if you remember earlier. Uh, again, not quite as um, in too much depth as the one in that collision chapter so what we have to do there's two sliders that we're on we need to move the top slider to the center about there that's fine and then the bottom slider to the far right and then we can just push the button but again you have to make sure that it goes green so put it right to the center as soon as it goes green push that boy so when we get out of this we've just got one more thing to do now there are a whole bunch of like um sort of non puzzly white bits um, the only way I can tell you is that I'll just have to show you. Uh, so there's like a circle with some white dots in it which you have to activate. Um, like bars and stuff we have to turn gold as well. So, and again you have to press and hold the A button to drag, uh, drag them across, make them gold, etc. And then after this is going to be a big long dance section. So directly below us, m turn all these bits gold until this appears. And then to the bottom right... Just of this there, make sure that bit goes gold as well. And then Nugget Head and Small Nugget Head will fall in love. Go to the left, and you're going to see these bits of um, sort of dots, white dots. Then from here, what we can do, we're going to go to the bottom right. You're going to see a whole nother bunch of white dots for us to make golden balls. So we are getting literally golden bollocked up right here. Golden balls. And, of course, as you can see, the one on the left is, should already be lit up if you followed me from earlier. If not, make sure to, to do the one on the left before going to the one here at the bottom. Turn these as golden as balls. 
And there's two more that we got to do. So, one to the right and one to the left. Two small ones. Pop that one out. Chose to be free, free from all else. Go to the left, interact these couple of dots, and now I believe this is done. And there's going to be <laughs> one long, long dance sequence. So, just enjoy whatever the flippity flappity flu is going on right here. As we see Nugget Head starting to get his inner Michael Jackson out here, apparently. <laughs> About to start going... Starts going to do the thriller and the, the friggin' moonwalk and everything. He looks like. I mean, to be fair, this dance sequence is only about a minute and a half long, two minutes, but honestly, like, a lot of, like, the chapters in this game kind of felt like about 20 minutes, didn't it? So when we're done and we're all knackered, click on the colourful kaleidoscope there at the top, and then we're going to go back out. Now, what we're going to do, uh, these last parts, we're about 16 minutes away, 15, 16 minutes away now from the end of the game. But these next couple of parts just felt like they were added on quite pointlessly, in all fairness, just to stretch the game out a little bit further. Um, so, again, just enjoy the cutscene for the time being. And now we actually have to click up on the D-pad or up on uh, left stick until we get all the way to the end. So keep clicking up on the left stick. Go all the way to the end. And we're going to get to a point where Nugget Head, tiny little Nugget Head and every man and every woman apparently will be on a bench looking at us. So we're getting to that point now. We are getting there. We are definitely coming up to the end. And of course... We do have two endings that we need to get through. Um, but we can just reload the one save and then just go through the final bit again. So, now we're onto a bench. Every man's nipple disappeared and then came back for some weird reason. And what we need to do now, we need to drag the screen to the right to basically turn the camera around. So when the cursor is available again, such as... No... Now, such as now, turn it around and we're going to see four doors. So what we're going to do, we're going to go from left to right. So interact with the green door on the very left first. And what's going to appear are three weird-ass potato heads. Um, we again move the left stick to keep going up for the time being. So move left stick up. This is bit isn't automatic. Oh, this isn't the Mr. Potato Head one. So in each four doors, you're going to see three heads. What you're going to do is go from left to right... So say we stick with the first one first. And then when you go through to the head, click up on the left stick again. And just keep going all the way up until we basically get to the end. And you know when we're going to get to the end where it stops dead in front of you. Like now. And then what we have to do is just click on the obvious thing which is here, which is the bones. And then it automatically brings us back down. Interact with the middle one. With the middle head. A revolution begins. So again, just go up, left stick, all the way up. Again, until it stops. So again, it's the sheep, the sheep herder. And again, just click that. It's automatically going to bring us back down. And then do the 
uh, head on the right. And just do the same. So left stick all the way up. And then eventually... Uh, hello. Hello. And then just click on the woman. It's normally the thing that's right in the middle. That's going to bring you back. And that is the first door complete. Now that's what we're going to do for the rest of the doors. So... Go from left to right. We've already done the left green side one. So just go now through to the second door. Which will be... What's that? Is that blue or purple or something? Kind of looks blue. No, purple. Whatever colour this is. So just do the same thing. So three heads. Again, left stick up. Every time you get through the door, get your left stick up so you can get to the end. Use the three heads. The one on the left first. Then the middle. Then the right. Left stick up. Press the A button. Come back. And then just do that for all four doors. But again, this bit does take quite a few minutes to do. And again, I've still got no idea what's going on. This is more like a Towley from South Park. Oh man, I'm so high right now. I have absolutely no idea what's going on.
So, there we go then. This bit is finally done. We can now click on the spiral on Nugget Hand's hand. Nugget, Nugget Hand, Nugget Head's hand. Now, we've just got Exodus to do. The final chapter of the game, Exodus. Now, we've only got about seven minutes left, but basically, it takes a couple of minutes to get from the beginning of the chapter until we're able to choose uh, one of the endings. Um, but I don't actually show you the, uh, show you the uh, final chapter the second time through, because there's not much to do. Um, so, obviously, I'll edit that down. I'll obviously let you know. But I'm going to show you the first bit first. So, smash it, smash, smash through the dialogue again. As much as we care, we don't really. we got places to be. we got things to do. we got a thousand, 1,210 Gs to spew. So, keep, keep going. Eventually, we're going to get there. But again, it's going to be another long cutscene. And eventually, we're going to regain control of every man. Yeah. So here we go then, let's do this thing, let's finish this thing, man. So we are now every man who is so powerful he doesn't even have the ability to walk. He can just float in midair perfectly. Uh, just keep going to the right um, and we're going to head right until we reach Nugget Head once more. And just like earlier then, we're going to click on the door until we get to Miss Hugh Jass. Um, now this is the point where we can pick two endings. So you don't have to manually save or anything, just we'll pick one ending and then as soon as that achievement unlocks, you can, um, we're going to exit out and we're going to continue back in. So it's bit, generally a little bit quicker. Um, and then just select the other ending later on. So. Miss Hugh Jass is going to be all like, supper. A little bit of a cutscene here. But again, as you can see, there's not much to do in this chapter, which is why I've just uh, cut it out, edited it down, just to show you the other ending. Because all you have to do is fly right as every man, and then go to the door as um, Nugget Head with Miss Hugh Jass. Now he's like, oh, what do I pick? So here are the two endings then. One where you can actually go inside, but then I think it's the point where she gets shot, or we can just leave her be, and, you know, she doesn't get shot. We're going to choose the first option first. We want to see some big booty again, so we'll choose the first option, the left option. So just keep uh, clicking the door until the uh, screen goes brighter there. She gives the flower, and oh, man, we're going to make them hips work. We're going to fly. She's actually going to make my little head work, apparently, as well. But we're going to see a big old butt crack one more time. Man, it went halfway up the back. That is a big crack. A big crack up the back. I said big crack up the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that is basically the first um, achievement of the ending. No, that's not it. Uh, that's <laughs> that's uh, another notification, sorry. So again, just enjoy the cutscene for a minute. And then and until you unlock the Not Alone achievement... Ah, okay, well, there it is then. So, now we've unlocked that. Press start. Go to exit. Are you sure? Yes. 
going to continue. And again, you'll have to play through the Exodus trap again. So it's going to be a couple of minutes for you. Um, but again, all you have to do is go right as every man. Go through the door as Nugget Head. And we'll get back to this point. Obviously, what you need to do is choose the right option. Yeah, his face. And that's a big chunky nose too. So this time, we think we don't want to see no butt crack this time. We're all good. We're just going to go home, put on a dirty movie and fall asleep. So this time, choose. make sure to choose the right panel. Choose the colourful scene a couple of times. And that is going to be the end of that game and that chapter. And that is basically that. So, like I said, whether they bring out some more title updates in the future, I will obviously keep you updated with more videos. But for now, if this is the first time you're playing it, congratulations on your 1,210 gamer score. But I am going to leave it here then. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I do hope you enjoyed one of the weirdest games I've ever played. But I hope you enjoyed the guide and that it helped as well. Don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend if you did find it helpful. Also, don't forget to check me out on my socials, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon. There's your 17 out of 17. And a big, huge shout-out again to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. You guys and gals are just legendary. Thank you so much again. Well, I'll see you in the next Game Pass game. Guy, yeah, get Game Pass game? Yeah, Game Pass game, guys and gals. Big love.